culture is one of the toughest things to scale, actually. There have been books written about this. I want to talk a little bit about culture. So how do you maintain culture as you have rapid growth? Because I, I've personally, we, we 5X'd our company in a very short amount of time, and it was extremely painful. And we lost clients because of it. We lost team members because of it. And it was the first time that I've ever grown like that. I didn't know, I had no idea what I was doing as a leader, let alone what, you know, everybody else on the team. And it was, it was a new experience and I had to learn the hard way. And now I, I have a different perspective of things. What are some of the things that you see people make mistakes as they grow really fast? What a great question. Culture is one of the toughest things to scale. Actually, there've been books written about this. But the first thing that you really want to do before even scaling is whenever you are deciding what are your core values, you have to really believe them. Because we, what happens, what I've seen happen is people go to these conferences or a symposium or a webinar and jot down what the other company put as core values. And they're like, oh, yeah, I believe in that. Do you? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> so start with that. If you talk about integrity, that means doing the right thing when no, when no one's looking. Are you? When you talk about uh, showing up on time, when you talk about leadership mentality with uh, head first, you're the first one in there. Are you? So let's go deep down inside and say, what is truly my core values that I'm good at? And what is the things I would like to be good at, but I'm not yet that I need to work on? I had this issue. I had, um, I didn't show up on time in meetings and that set the tone. People started not showing up on time. And I started to think, hey, what can I do to be better at this? This is something that I wish I had, not necessarily a value that I have. So first of all, put down your core values believe in them, and then it will show in your actions. Second, that's the first thing. Second is mm. once you have this list done, you want to focus, you want to turn your company to actually uh, work on these things. So you want this to be the source of how your systems are. Uh, for example, if you talk about patient firsts, first. Okay, did we train every team member to leave everything they have and look in the patient in the eyes and say, hello, Mrs. Smith, thank you for, we were been expecting you uh, here, have a seat and we'll get back with you in a second. Or whatever it is, core values you put in there, make sure your systems are actually ingrained in it. So if you say patients come first in your core values and your phone rings for five to six rings without no, no one answering, that's the bad example. So number one, List the core values and believe in them. Number two, build your systems around those core values to actually deliver the message, not just a plaque on the wall. Number three, communicate, communicate, communicate. If patients don't know you exist, they don't know you exist. So you send them a marketing message for the awareness phase of the IDA model because you want them to be aware that you exist, right? Same thing with the team members. If you have a core value that you're not communicating, it doesn't exist. It exists only in your head and you think you have it. So number yeah. one, uh, come up with those core values, build them, create them number and believe in them. Number two, build your systems around those core values to deliver to the, to the organization. Number three, communicate, communicate, communicate. Like one thing we do is every morning we have one of our pillars. We have a, a 30 minute or a 15 minute meeting every morning with, with uh, every department, with their team members to talk about one of the pillars. Uh, what, integrity or or a conflict resolution or patient first mentality or whatever it is. We just say an example. Hey, what happened in the yeah. last month that we could... We, so communicate, communicate, communicate. And then as you scale, it's going to be very hard to actually take that with you to the next level. Remember, when you were one or two or three locations, yeah. you actually saw everybody in the office almost every day. Yeah. And then after that, it starts yeah. becoming digital. 